Um, if you're joining by our Zoom meet, welcome, welcome. If you're joining us through our live stream on the Facebook Dream Team page, welcome. Right. We are officially and live streaming, so on. welcome, everybody. Sorry about that if you heard that double whammy. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and for those of you, like I said, who are live streaming, if you're watching live, I know it's a Friday afternoon for a lot of you and some for a long weekend. So if you might be watching the replay, um, but let us know where you're coming in from. I'm super excited for tonight um, to hear about a little bit more about Club Secret. I have had lots of people say, well, what about this? Or what about this? I just kind of feel a little bit confused. Like, what does it actually entail? Is it just travel? Is it like, what more is it? What's this? What's that? So we are going to definitely um, have somebody uh, come on here who's heading up our club secret here at Secret to share a little bit more. But in the meantime, we have Jesse Mack on who just recently came back from Dubai. And what spurred this whole thing is I heard him record a little clip it of the club secret when he was in Dubai. And it was a little bit echoey. It was hard to hear. And I was like, Jesse, we need him to say this live to everybody because I wanted to hear more. So um, Jesse, I'm going to turn the call over to you. Thanks for being here. And thanks for taking time to be here with us to introduce to us um, who we're bringing on today. Absolutely. Hello, Dream Team fam. Jesse Mack over here. And uh, I am here actually back in Phoenix. Um, and but my uh, my heart is still in Dubai. I don't know if that's a thing, but I guess we're making it up. It's an uh, incredible city for those of you guys that are kind of following our journey over there. But um, we kind of had, I was supposed to be in Bali on our honeymoon, but it was still closed because of COVID. So I know, you know, when, you know, I only got to go to Dubai. I know some of you are still locked in Canada and can't even leave your house. So I'm not complaining. Um, but, uh, got a chance to go over there for our forging of champions event with Mark Asetta, where there was a little over 450 people that flew in from Africa and Europe mostly, but some of them even came from, you know, New Caledonia, like from Fiji islands, like some spent three thousand dollars on a plane ticket and 32 hours on flights to get to dubai to get a chance to uh get this training to be at the first training ever for the launch of some of these markets and some of you guys would be thinking well what does that have to do with me well if you're going to build a big business here inside of secret globally um you are going to have an opportunities like never before to be able to accelerate that growth into those marketplaces however I want to talk to you about what we've got going on and what's happening right now in the world of secret. I'm actually back here in Phoenix for an event that we just did today. We just wrapped that up. I'm uh, I'm here uh, where I'm actually in, in Isaac's house, actually in his suite. <laughs> There's the view. Oh my gosh, look at this. So, uh, and I got married right over there. So that was kind of cool. Um, but I, um, uh, part of being back here for these next couple of weeks and some of the events is we're going to be doing more things because finally, as the world starts opening up, we want people to get reconnected to the source of what Secret is. And, and that is really the community that was developed 20 years ago. Um, and what's happening right now with the expansion of these new partnerships and new communities coming in of this new program and this new really kind of concept that is turning into um, a, a, a what, what I believe is gonna be the greatest value proposition that Secret will be bringing. And if you guys remember the story of Secret, even though really we've been a Dead Sea company, Secret didn't start as a Dead Sea company. Secret started as a toy company, selling toys in the middle of the mall to sell to save a family's you know, future. And what they realized was that the, the products of the toys were a vehicle to be able to save them. And then they started to want to bring something unique, a unique value to the marketplace. So then comes in the Dead Sea and the story of the Dead Sea. And then because of that, not just healing from the outside, but healing from the inside. So then we have this nutrition that has come in. But as you guys know, Secret's mission was to create a wealthy global community of people that serve the world through innovative products and opportunity inspiration. That's our mission statement. And if you don't know, that's what it is. <laughs> I was there when we wrote it and <laughs> we picked those words. Um, but a big part of that in creating this wealthy global community is creating not just experiences, but you know, a life rich with meaning. And uh, a lot of that has nothing to do with the amount of income that you earn, but the experiences in life that you have. And a big part of that was going, okay, we have an opportunity to transition from being a product company to being a lifestyle brand. And that's really when things started transitioning from being secret minerals from the Dead Sea to life by secret products for your life to now not just products for your life, but experiences to improve the quality of life. And so as this club was announced and um, just the beginning of it and 
many of you guys are like, okay, what is it? How does it work? It's a travel thing. I'm getting benefits. I get discounts on hotels. And the answer is yes, but there's a lot of buts. And we're still in the midst of this, you know, crazy pandemic that is, you know, kind of ending, but not ending, but sort of ending, but, so, you know, and there's new rules and regulations happening all the time around it. And so it's a travel thing. And I didn't really understand really how big this was going to be until I got a chance to sit down and see really Isaac's vision for creating uh, a club where we can basically create so much value. And one of the things we've always talked about is inside of this community, we do two things. We produce and we consume. And how we keep the wealth inside of the community is instead of having dollars leave our community, stay inside of our community from the things that we purchase to the things we spend money on, to the places we shop, to the places we buy, to the places we travel, to the things we put on our body, the things we put in our body, the whole gamut. And, um, and so today I'm really excited to get a chance to introduce you to uh, a new member of the team. And, um, uh, and I'm so excited that he's here today to share with you a little bit about it. Um, his unofficial title uh, is uh, the, uh, you know, the experience man. Uh, we're going to call him that, but I'm calling him, this is not an official title, the president of Club Secret. That's not a title that he actually has, but I'm, that's what I'm going to call him uh, because somehow I think it's going to be that, or at least I'm, I'm excited for what he's going to be bringing to the table and what he doesn't have here, which is uh, because he comes from a different world than I'm used to, which is the direct sales or the networking world uh, comes from a very uh, traditional business and corporate world and a very high level senior executive roles in some of the biggest brands and has partaken in some of the biggest brands in the history of the world. And I'll let him share with you his story on that. But I think all of us have probably heard the slogan over the course of our lives. Just do it. And uh, the incredible brand that has been created through that organization and through Nike, and I know he's participated and worked with some of the most incredible, iconic um, brands, but also athletes, performers, but also uh, being courted by one of the largest event companies in the world, the largest event company, and we're putting on not some of, but the largest events in the world, uh, Reed Exposition Company. So he's going to share with you a little bit more about that, but originally how he came to learning about Secret, meeting Isaac, and then learning about this new program, club program, and what it can do. Now, I want you guys to understand is this is really the foundation and the beginning phases of really where this is going. And I want you to understand a little bit about where it is, also more importantly about where it's going, um, because as we go build, those of you guys that decide uh, not to wait for everything, but to build into everything. And I'll share with you some of the um, important benefits that are for those now. Because some people are saying, well, why would I pay now when the benefit, some more benefits are coming later? And I'm going to share with you some of those amazing reasons why here today. But uh, to uh, uh, a gentleman that I have grown to respect and for um, not just what he's accomplished, uh, but how he showed up in the world of secret, because this guy is an execution guy. And that makes me happy because he's uh, he's a under promise and over deliver. And I, it's been because I know he has signed contracts on things he won't even tell us about. Um, but uh, hopefully he'll give us a little bit of a sneak peek as to where we're at, but more importantly, where Club Secret is going and some of the benefits that you can start seeing and some of the programs that you can start seeing. So Ron Walden, thank you for being with us here today. I'm going to turn it over to you, my friend. Hello, everyone. It's great to be here and uh, Jesse, thank you for the introduction and Tracy, thank you for uh, allowing me to uh, come together in front of uh, this group and share a little bit about my story as well as about Club Secret. I, I really am excited to be here, not just here on this call, but to be here with Club Secret. And so before I get to um, how I got here at Club Secret, let me tell you a little bit about my background. As Jesse mentioned, um, I have more of a traditional um, corporate business experience, uh, although at the core of my uh, experience is sales. I'm a salesperson um, through and through, um, started selling insurance, financial services, et cetera, got into the fashion industry, eventually uh, ended up working for Nike. And in my role at Nike, I led the Jordan brand uh, in the central and Western division, led their sales team, uh, had a chance to work with and work for Michael Jordan. So that was incredibly exciting, but also a stable of amazing athletes throughout that brand. Um, and then I got a promotion and I went over to the Nike side where I ran the Western region of the United States and had a chance to work with a more diverse group of athletes, iconic athletes in all uh, various um, aspects of sport. And 
you know, I will tell you that the one thing that I have taken away from um, those two specific roles is the fact that um, the brand is successful and Jesse referenced Just Do It, the, the slogan for Nike. And in that slogan is really inherent in that slogan is this emotional connection to the brand. It doesn't say just wear sneakers. It doesn't say just play sports. It says just do it. And you know, over the years, Nike has really created this emotional connection with the brand by going beyond the product. And so when Isaac talked to me, everybody's got an I met Isaac story. I've got two I met Isaac stories, but um, the last one is probably the most impactful because when he started talking to me about this program and this opportunity, um, I realized that what he was trying to do is something that I had spent the last eight years doing, which was building lifestyle, building a lifestyle brand. And in order to have a lifestyle brand, you have to have something that goes beyond product. You have to have community. Um, you have to have things where people can be engaged. Yes, you do have to have product. You do have to touch and feel. Um, and you also have to have experiences. And so I felt like I really got it. I felt like we could do this. And so the question was, or is, um, why would a guy with my experience choose to do this? And why would I choose to do it at this time? And so um, one thing that I will tell you that I was a part of when I was at Nike in the last three years, I was part of something that was called Fewer Better. Fewer Better was a strategic plan over the course of the next three to five years for Nike to eliminate the retailers, the number of retailers that they were doing business with so that they can move to a direct to consumer model, a direct sales model, the exact nature of this business. And so I was familiar with it. I know the benefit of it because there's two benefits. Number one, when you talk to your consumer directly, you are controlling the narrative. You're not relying on a third party. You're not relying on a retailer, et cetera. The second piece of it is it's more profitable. And so everybody is trying to move to um, a, a model where they can control the narrative, speak to their consumer directly, tell the story of the brand and be more profitable along the way. So in that moment, I, I got that. The second thing is, is that I could see the lifestyle aspect of Secret, and I'm familiar with Secret. I have a friend who's been with Secret for six years. I'm familiar with network marketing. Um, I have a number of folks that are um, you know, highly successful in various companies. I have people on the corporate side as well as on the business side. But what I thought was uniquely um, special about this opportunity was the fact that this is a young company. For all intents and purposes, this is ground floor. And so, and I say that with all due respect, yes, the brand has been around for 20 years and yes, the network marketing model has been around for 10 years and yes, there's been some success, but this is a different day and age. Um, this is a different day and age with technology. It's a different day and age with social media. Uh, and it's a different day and age with um, the opportunity to take advantage of three different, and at least for now, three different aspects of product and services that can really fuel what I believe will be a lifestyle brand and community. So we talked about product and the beauty product and the outside. We talk about nutrition and the inside. And now we talk about trips and the experiences. And I believe that that is really kind of the foundation of what will be an amazing experience and opportunity. Um, we're gonna have some Q and A's after this. So I usually pause and ask questions here, but I'll keep going. Um, and so now you have to have a plan, right? People don't plan to fail, they fail to plan. And so now we have to have a plan. Now, fortunately or unfortunately, I joined Club Secret after it had already launched. And if I would have been here at the inception, I would not have launched Club Secret the way that it had been launched because um, we didn't have enough, I believe, to offer immediately there was great ideas. There were um, some programs that have been in place or starting to be in place, uh, but contracts hadn't been signed yet. Um, and so I'm one of these people, as Jesse mentioned, is going to under promise and over deliver because it's really important. We talk about this connection and engagement of the customer creating loyalty uh, in that you have to have a degree of trust. 
And so I don't ever want to come to the table with something that is really kind of futury. Um, I want to make sure that we're able to deliver it and talk about it and talk about when we're going to talk about that. So um, hopefully you guys will come to appreciate that. And so the question is, is that what is Club Secret? Well, Club Secret is going to be a place, a community, a platform, both on web and also we have a, an app version coming. Um, and I can speak to that comfortably because we've signed that contract. Um, and so we have an app version coming. And um, this is where you will go to live your best life. And so how do you live your best life in Club Secret? Well, currently we have basically four pillars within uh, the Club Secret that will help you live your best life. Uh, and not in any order, but you can write this down. There's going to be materials that are coming out. We have a whole program to, um, you know, onboard people when they join Club Secret. We will go back and retrofit the folks that have been with us um, from day one. We have some plans to kind of um, reward them for their early participation. I shared that with Tracy and Jesse yesterday. Um, but not in any particular order, we have content. We have what we're calling perks and benefits. Uh, we will have travel. Um, and then we're going to have a merchandise program. And so if we talk about content, um, this is where we are going to provide information and education on a weekly basis that will hopefully be valuable to the members that they can, um, again, learn, they can um, practice some health and wellness, um, et cetera. And the first uh, content that you will see starting in June is what we're calling our leaders series. And this will be, um, stories, information, um, videos uh, that will be provided by 15 to 20 of the top leaders of the company on a weekly basis. And that content will go up, it will be available for a period of time, and then it will come down and, the and it will be library and archived, and then the next one will come on, et cetera, et cetera. Um, eventually that content will evolve, and I believe by the time we get to September, uh, that will involve into some more customized um, content that will include people that are outside of the company, for example, that might be subject matter experts. And then eventually, um, hopefully by Christmas and by the holidays, we will then have celebrities, influencers, people of notoriety that will be delivering content as well. So that's the content piece. The next big piece, and I think that people find value in this, which is, you know, really one of the areas that I think that I will add, I'm excited to add value, not that I think I will add, I'm excited to add value, is really about the benefits and discounts. So we talk about benefits, and one of them is this well care program. Um, I know that it was mentioned in Dallas. Literally, before I jumped on this call, I received an email, and I'm happy to share that timestamp with you, that the contract has actually been signed. And we are actually going to be rolling that out. And so look to hear uh, about that. I did share um, a, a couple of slides with Tracy that she is welcome to share with you all with regards to um, the benefits of the program and how it works. But more importantly, when we roll it out, there will be a video or some type of informational that actually walks you through how to benefit or to how to engage in the benefits of that program. Also under the banner of benefits will be things that will, um, I think, add value financially because there will be discounts. So there will be discounts at retail stores, there will be discounts um, at theme parks, there will be discounts um, at service providers, et cetera. Now I pause here because when this was first introduced to me, it was this, you know, I had this, uh, it was my misunderstanding, but I had this misunderstanding that everybody would benefit from all the benefits. And the reality of it is, is that there's global benefits that will have global reach that people all over the world will be able to benefit from. But more importantly, we have to get local. We have to get hyper-local uh, with the services and benefits that we're gonna to provide to the members because not all things have equal value. And I'll give you an example. And the first learning that I had came from a conversation with the team in Japan. And we were talking about Club Secret and some of the benefits, and we were even talking about travel. And one of the people on the call said, we're under quarantine. We can't travel. So in that moment, I realized that any trip outside of Japan is not very valuable. 
So we are working now to deliver some local trips, meaning trips throughout Japan that people within that country can still share some benefits from. Equally, when it comes to discounts and retail stores and partners, Tracy and Jesse and I talked yesterday about it's incumbent upon the countries to tell us what's valuable to them. I don't, uh, you know, pose to be an expert on uh, what are the retail partners and brand partners that are most important in Canada, Mexico, Colombia, um, Norway, Italy, any of the other countries. I have a good idea in the US, yes. Um, but we have created a template that we will be sharing with the uh, business leaders where you will then inform us on what is important to you. And so we're using the model, follow your money. And so if it's gas stations, cell phones, laundry services, supermarkets, et cetera, et cetera, you get the gist. We want to provide value partners in those uh, arenas so that you can have some immediate value. The next uh, group of benefits is, or next uh, bucket is going to be travel. And while I understand the majority of the people on this call um, are secret people um, and travel is not the core business, at least not initially, um, travel I do understand is very important. Uh, it's important on a couple of reasons. Number one, a large group of people that have joined the company have come from the travel background and that's what they know. And so we wanna get them something familiar. But more importantly, it rounds out the holistic experience of what living your best life is all about, which is traveling and experiencing things. And so in the same vein, we have to create trips that have global appeal, global access, while also providing some local um, trips that also can, uh, they, they may not require as much time, they may not require as much distance to get to, but people will find value in that. And I'm excited to say that we have um, the dedicated resources to that. We've identified the vendor partner. And so again, I mentioned on stage in Dubai last week that we have five trips that are coming online in the next six weeks. So five weeks from now. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if it was sooner, but let's say five weeks from now. Uh, and then we will be programming those trips out on a monthly basis. We aren't gonna dump 100 trips into the system. We will program them out and schedule them out so that can, people can have a journey um, within Club Secret. The last piece uh, about this uh, program as it stands now is the merchandise program. And this is where I really get excited because this is my wheelhouse. Um, prior to Nike, I spent 12 years in the fashion industry. Um, I have worked with some of the best brands. I've worked with some of the best retail partners. Uh, I've worked with some of the best influencers and um, artists to create brands. And when Isaac talked to me about Secret, he talked to me about L-I-F or L-F-E, which was the look, so that's the beauty, the F is the feel, and the E was the experience. And when we looked at that, and when I saw it on the board, I'm a visual person, I realized that there's an opportunity to create life, L-I-F-E. And we then said the I would be inclusion because we're a community. This is the place, Club Secret is a place, and I've heard Isaac say it over and over again, where everybody can live their best life, regardless of race, creed, color, age, gender, et cetera, et cetera. We are one big happy family. And so um, I like that life. I like that being the acronym that we are going to build this platform on and buy. Um, and it, you know, fits with lifestyle. Um, and when he shared this vision to me, I said, where's your merchandise program? And he said, oh, well, you know, we make some t-shirts for the events or we've done this. Or basically what he said to me was, that's not our core competency. We've been growing rapidly. We've been focusing on our business. And I said, I can help you here. And so I'm gonna share with you um, what I shared with folks in Dubai, which is the evolution of the merchandise program what it will look like and when we will start to see it, okay? So there's going to be three platforms for the merchandise program. The first one is called 365 and 365 is a year round program that will um, basically make basic secret branded product available to its members. Um, imagine we're gonna start with short sleeve, long sleeve tees, men and women's silhouettes, caps, et cetera. 
Um, and we will see that roll out in July. You will have the first opportunity to receive product in July. I should say end of July, right? Be safe. <laughs> During the month of July. Um, the second phase of this is, or the second aspect of the program is what we're calling the event program. And what that means is that we are creating um, themed product for each of our events. So imagine we have boot camp coming up, and I hope that people will be able to get out of the country and get down to Florida for boot camp. I'm sure you all are wet as well. Um, and boot camp will uh, consist of themed product. We already have the artwork and the designs. And soon we will be announcing that and turning on an order um, platform for people to place orders before they get to boot camp. Uh, they will see the silhouettes. Um, and we won't have time to ship it to you before you get to boot camp, but you can pre order and make sure that the product will be available for you when you get to boot camp um, so that we don't run out for folks. And then we'll have an overrun uh, for those that register late or come after uh, the production window or order window has been cut off. And so we want to do that and program out themed product throughout the year and um, get in a cadence where people can get accustomed to ordering it and having it so they don't have frustrations of running out. During the event, we will have a retail store and not the pop-ups that you might have seen in the past. We're gonna have a retail store and that retail store will look like a store. It will feel like a store. It will be merchandised with the store. It will have the event product as well as we'll sprinkle in some of the 365 product because Early on, not every single country will have access to it because of shipping and um, customs and things like that make it a bit cost prohibitive now until we get it to our distribution centers globally. Um, but they'll have access to the product at the event. Um, Club Secret members will have uh, will be the first people uh, to get into the store. So we'll have a, an early window um, for folks to come in that are Club Secret members. So there's a benefit of being a club secret member. You will get discounts on the product as a club secret member. And we are going to host a reception for club secret members in the retail store. And um, I hope to have something very special to share with you all during that reception. So that's the it plan for the event. And for those of you that have not signed up yet, and aren't able to sign up for Club Secret before you get to the event, don't worry, we'll have a lineup, uh, we'll have a place for you in the retail store for you to sign up for Club Secret and immediately get your, your uh, discounts. And then lastly, and this one is six to nine months down the road, which is collabs, which is really the limited edition stuff that we will do. Uh, imagine it being on um, Lululemon bodies or Nike bodies or uh, Christian Dior products. Uh, imagine us doing some celebrity influenced um, silhouettes and this being very, very, very limited. It might be only available to certain people that have access within Club Secret and tiers uh, that we're going to create because I forgot to mention to you that there is a reward program that we're introducing um, in the next two weeks with regards to um, earning points QV, CV, et cetera, um, in Club Secret. And that will be another reason why you should um, you know, keep your subscription that you have and sign up early or sign up immediately because you will start to accrue points. And once you have those points and receive status, you will have access or greater access to products and discounts uh, other than your basic membership. Um, and so I'm going to pause there to say that that's a lot. Um, we have limited resources. I'm adding resources. I've just got the approval to hire some folks. And so we're going through that process. And, you know, I showed a slide in Dubai that said Rome wasn't built in a day. Um, what we are going to do, we are going to do right. Uh, what we are going to do, we are going to do it in a fashion that will earn your confidence. Um, and so that's why it's super important that I ask for your patience as we go through this process, but know that when we deliver the things that we have in mind, that we have in the works, that we already have contracted, that I can't talk about because I don't know how our system talks to their system yet, because you have to execute the contract and we're in the process of doing that. Um, and by the way, the more I put into the pipeline, 
the more strain it is on the resources that we have. So we're scaling up to it. That's a good problem to have, trust me. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh man, there's so many directions to go with this on. Ron, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'll shoot a few questions your, your way that I have been pretty common questions that have happened uh, over the last couple of months, last couple of weeks, last couple of days. So first of all is this, is this rewards program, I know some of you have a billion questions about it. What is it? When is it? What's the status? All that other stuff. Trust us, it's coming. We're building it to make sure there's an algorithm. But if you think about it kind of like, you know, I fly, right? For those of you guys who know, I love traveling more than anything in the world. So when you get status on your airlines is when you have a certain number of flyers, you get points per this. And we understand this, right? And you get to different levels of status, which gives you different benefits, different discounts, different upgrades different things like that. So you're going to see an incredible program. Here's what's exciting. For those of you guys that joined the program when we first launched it, pre-launched it just for our agents back in months ago, whenever that was, right? So, um, you know, look, as we want to make sure that every dollar that you have put into Club Secret, uh, Isaac has already said that all of those dollars are going to automatically going to be points that are going to be added into the rewards program as it comes out and points where some of you might even be starting because of that at a, a different tier of benefits. Now, what are those tiers? Don't worry, they're coming down the pipeline. We're gonna get those to you here shortly. But, but Ron, one of the things I thought was probably one of the most exciting things about the program um, at, uh, that be added uh, in here. I forgot to talk um, about that, huh? Is, uh, is, is something that I know is near and dear to my heart. And it's actually something that you brought up, um, which uh, I don't know if you wanna talk to him about it, but that'd be great. Yeah, so, um, and I forgot, and that's actually something that um, is usually one of the things that I, I close with, but with regards to the merch program, um, Isaac has agreed to pay commissions on the merchandise. <laughs> I'll okay. wait for everybody to celebrate. Um, and by the way, I know for a fact that there is not another company in this industry that is paying commissions on merchandise. And so... You know, the question is not why would someone do this? The question is why wouldn't they do it? All right, so I just want to make sure that I get this straight. So what you're saying <laughs> is we're going to have a 360, you know, five degree approach to merchandise. So t-shirts, all this stuff, like I'm wearing a secret thing here. I got this secret shirt that says Club Secret on it, right? And, I got it the store. And, and by the way, Jesse and, and everyone on this call, you have that. And even one that says Club Secret, how much money did you make on that? I didn't make anything on it. I just spent money. Right. You know what I mean? So like, but in these shorts that I bought that are my secret shorts that I love, right? And my flip-flops, like I bought all this stuff, but because I love it, I want to rep the brand and I want to share with it. But what you're saying is this, is that when the merchandise program, you're bringing a secret that there, when an agent buys it, there's QV and CV now on merchandise that's going to be purchased, whether it be at our stores, whether it be our 365. Is that what you're saying? I just want to make sure that we're very clear on this. That's what I'm saying. Oh my goodness. So um, now, this, so, some of you guys just didn't realize, like we have three verticals. You guys understand that, right? We have skincare, we have nutrition, and now we have travel was what we were talking about. This isn't travel. This is merchandise. This is event. This is huge. Like imagine like, almost, I know there are companies right now that it's like, you know, I'm so sorry. Like, no, nah, no. Nah, if there's nah, any nah. question, as to whether or not we are doing this? No way. Oh my God, I'm so excited. There she is. There she oh, is. If there's any question as to whether or not we're doing the work, the proof is in the pudding. And wow. let me tell you, you know, I get excited about this and this probably isn't going to excite you, but I think about journeys and I think about emotional connections. In Dallas, Isaac introduced the fact that we are changing, the brand is evolving, and all my samples just fell out of the closet. <laughs> um, the brand is evolving. There's going to be color palette changes. There's going to be um, some new changes to the artwork, et cetera, et cetera. But we own this. This is our trademark, and we're starting off with what I'm calling the legacy brand. Now imagine we're going to get people that have been here from day one prior to the change. And there's gonna be people that are gonna join the company afterwards, right? So now we're gonna have these legacy members and we are going to create capsules of product that 
are going to have an emotional connection to members that have been here because they know this, they know the wave in the in the um, in, in the name, et cetera, et cetera, right? right? And then as we introduce the new program, that will be great. It will be fun. It will be fresh. And then periodically, I'm giving you guys way, way too much information. But periodically down the line, we'll create some really cool capsules of limited runs of product that you will only be able to get if you are in Club Secret that comes from the legacy brand. Amazing. Uh, amazing. Just and little stuff like that. That's all. So, and, and I know that, you know, some of the connections with events and sporting events, like, I know that there are certain um, places, because travel is one thing, like going on a vacation and going to a beach somewhere, but there are different types of travel and different types of trips that I know that um, concept trips that you are working on, but also um, I know that you happen to have some connections in the world of sports and all that other stuff. Is there any, um, any benefits you see in the future for our club secret members in, in those arenas? I do. So I, I, when I think about, I think about sports entertainment, um, in those buckets, you have all aspects of sports, whether it's NBA, uh, major league baseball, soccer, or football, as it's known around the world, F1 racing, um, all of those um, sporting events um, and um, sports categories will all have some type of experience tied to it. The only one that I can speak to within sports right now, or actually there's two, which is um, one, of the, one of my favorite events that I've ever attended. And if anyone has attended an F1 um, uh, Grand Prix race before, um, you know what I'm talking about. And one of my favorite events was the Montreal Grand Prix. And I went five years in a row to the Montreal Grand Prix. Uh, the last one that I went to Lewis was one that Lewis Hamilton, it was his first uh, Grand Prix that he won in Montreal. But anyway, it's just amazing experience. And so we're gonna create access. So when you think about experiences and particularly in sport, it's about getting access to the event, right? Because a lot of times these uh, high profile events it's difficult to get tickets to. So there may not be a discount. There may not be, um, you know, what we want to give you is access to it. And then we want to create a tentpole event around it so that you feel really connected and you get this really kind of um, immersive experience with it. The second one that I can talk to in sports is around the NBA. Uh, they have something that is called, this one's a little more difficult because of COVID, they're not running their summer event or they're running it in a limited edition but they have something in Las Vegas that's called Summer League. And Summer League is where uh, all of the athletes come out. It's really where they, um, they um, not profile, but um, does debut all of the rookies that have been um, drafted. And they run a league during the summer for 10 days, 10 to 14 days. And it's really, really, really just this celebrity, like everybody from Hollywood is there every all the athletes and basketball players are there uh and it's just this really super amazing experience and we have already have a verbal commitment from the nba for us to create our own experience there they're a part i'm comfortable talking about it because i've done business with them for the last eight years um and we just have to sit down and carve out what our piece is going to be there but that's exciting um festivals and events um there's something called complex con if you are not familiar with check out complex network um, this is more of lifestyle. It's around music, art, fashion, and food, um, mostly around kind of hip hop music. Um, there's a big festival in Long Beach once a year, draws about 50,000 people. Uh, we are slated to do something with them. I'm super excited about that. And we'll be announcing that by August. Um, and then you have things like Coachella and Stagecoach and Kentucky Derby. So in those spaces, those are the types of events that will you will see come up on our calendar. Oh my gosh. So guys, this is a, this is a big piece. And, 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 and Ron, I, I'll, um, let me close this out and see if there's any other questions here. So I, I want you guys to understand is, and you said something in Dubai, is, you know, to, to build what we're building is just going to take time and, you know, and, and to, 
have a little bit of patience with us because I mean, Ron, you've been here, I mean, just a handful of weeks and what I've already seen that you be able to do in, in a handful of weeks and be able to bring to the table your contacts, your connections, but uh, to be able to execute on some of those things. And um, unlike a, a lot of times, network marketers, we're just super excited. And a lot of the times we end up maybe being a little overzealous at times and promoting um, kind of futuring things. And I know that's something that, um, you know, for you was like, whoa, <laughs> uh, that's not how we do it in the world I come from, because um, uh, you have, if you don't deliver, you're, it's game over. Like you don't get another opportunity to do that. And so we're so excited to have you uh, from not just your professionalism, your execution skills here, um, but, you know, you, you closed with something that just, it, it resonated with my heart when you talked about, you know, um, uh, sticking around. And I don't know if uh, um, any other, ben, anything you want to share with us about um, where we're yeah, headed. I just, you know, what I have said is, and what I realize and what I believe, which is most important, um, what I believe is that the best is yet to come. And I know that there are people that um, have not signed up, and I believe that they should sign up, even while they're waiting for these things to be turned on, because there is value immediately, because you will start to accrue points and reward points, and you want to be at the front of the line when the stuff gets turned on, trust me. The second piece is for those of you that have already been with us and have subscribed and have been members, I want to personally thank you for your commitment to it, uh, for your faith and belief in it. And I want to ask you and remind you not to leave before the miracle happens, because it's going to happen. I love it. So um, I do know that we've got some of obviously our diamond leadership here that I see. I know there are some of that are on the Facebook Live. I know there are some here. We know we've got Nicole Humphreys. We've got uh, Mike Nancy Roy. And of course, uh, our fearless leader here. Um, Red Diamond, Tracy Zimmer, but I do want to open it up here, uh, Tracy, and to our diamonds. Any other questions you want to ask Ron here? I know we've been going 40 minutes. This will not be the last you'll hear from Ron. You'll be hearing from him a lot. Uh, it won't be the last you'll hear from me on, on this program as it's developing um, and as we're unfolding and really, because um, it's, it's in the oven right now and it's baking and some of us are smelling it and we're like, oh, I can't wait for this thing to pop out of the oven. Um, but right now is the time for us not to wait. It's time for us to build. Um, and that's one of the things I'm going to ask is for your trust in us, trust in this process, um, and so many of the things that have been working uh, diligently behind the scenes uh, to take care of. And I know for many of you, the last year and a half has been tough. Um, the last six months have been really tough in some aspects, whether it be personally, professionally, or even in your secret business. And, um, and uh, I know I've had we, we, some of us have had those conversations where it's like, man, like this is, this has been challenging. And I don't want to sit here and bury my head in the sand and just be like, everything's fine. Because part of this growth process we've been going through is piecing together um, and putting together the right team of people to take this company to the next level. And I believe that we have that right now. And over these next few weeks, uh, over the next few months, you're going to see uh, wild improvements in all aspects of the secret community, but particularly inside of this program. But Tracy, I'm going to turn it to you or any of the leaders have any questions for Ron? Well, I don't personally have any questions, but um, I do just want to say thank you, Ron, for everything that you're doing, um, sharing your honesty, where we're going um, and all that sort of stuff. I'm really, really excited for the future here. And this whole program is just like, I can just see it just going so, so big, um, but it does take time. So thank you for, for sharing that. Thank you for going, hey, you know what? We realize that people have been paying a subscription and maybe there's not as much to offer right now. And you guys are taking that into consideration for the points that are gonna be added up from when we started that. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I don't have any questions. If anybody else does, uh, do jump on, um, let me know. But thank you for your time and thanks for sharing. And Jesse, same with you. Um, guys, let's, let's go. Like, like you said, you know, let, let's not miss this prime opportunity to get ahead of the wave before it hits. So um, thank you very much, guys. And by the one last thing that I'll say to you is that um, I truly believe that, you know, first and foremost, Club Secret is here for you all. Our job is to, we don't sell anything. Our job is to create value for you so that you can attract the right people. And I said this on stage in Dubai, if Club Secret does the job that I believe that we are capable of doing with all the opportunity that we have, people will be lining up to join. You won't have to sell this. You won't have to... It will be organic. It will be as organic as it can be. 
Did I mention we get we're gonna CV and QV on merchandise? I don't know. Uh, I, uh, I'm just like, oh, that's exciting. Uh, anything else, guys? Uh, Ron, thank you for your time. Um, I, and uh, this Friday, and I and I just th thank you for your not just your transparency, but your availability. You know, I know I I called you. I was like, listen, can we get on a call? I've got some dear friends that um, some of them uh, uh, you know weren't in Dubai and haven't had a chance to see you at Elevate or you know, and there's it, just a difference uh, with what's happening. But I know that what you shared today, like there's new things that are you're getting done daily. And there are things that you shared today that wasn't even in Dubai that you couldn't even share in Dubai that are happening. So every day this program is continuing to evolve and get better. So um, anyway, thank you guys uh, for being on here. And uh, we'll, uh, I'll see uh, Dream Team, I'll see you guys on Sunday. Uh, I've got a very special training lined up for you guys. So those of you guys that will be a part of that and um, have a blessed week. And if you aren't, if you're not a club member yet, like <laughs> now's the time. So let's get you in the club. Let's get you your traveler's pack because that's going to reduce your cost down, obviously on your membership, uh, which makes totally to make sense. So just literally getting your traveler's pack, you know, that saves you after your first year of membership. So, and uh, we'll see you guys on the calls, but we've got Monday. Look at your rank meter. Let's close it out. Let's close out strong. Anything that you've got, if you've got challenges, go up, don't go side, don't go down, go up. We're here to support you with whatever you've got going on um, uh, inside of your business. If there's little things that we need to tweak and fix, we've got a dedicated team of people here fixing some of the challenges that we know we've got going on. And over the next couple of weeks, I just got an amazing phone call for an hour this morning from our corporate staff that's really working on some of the things I know some of you have had some pain points with uh, that you're going to see monster improvements over the course of these next couple of weeks. So we found some of the problems, in other words, so and uh, we found solutions for them, which is great. So we'll see you guys very soon. Thank you guys. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks guys.